Pop Squad. Cool. We've got, well, there is a new album from Sewer Person. Sewer Person puts out a lot of music, and uh, I like a lot of his music, like most, almost all. Uh, I probably like all of his music, actually, now that I say that, because I don't think I've ever listened to a song by him and gone, eh, I don't really care for that. Um, this is uh, an album that was fully released just a day or so ago. Uh, I guess it came out on 928, and it's 930 today, even though I'm doing, I'm recording this late at night on the 29th, actually the 30th. Um, this is The Other Lands, is the name of the album. I'm not going to do the whole album. I just wanted to listen to a track off of it. I'm going to do the one with the most plays on SoundCloud, which is uh, an, Arachnidian, an Arachnidian hymn. Uh, it's, called, it's called Chapter 2, An Arachnidian Hymn. So there must be some kind of theme to this album, because... The first song is called Of Other Lands. The second song is Chapter 1, War Boys. Chapter 2, An Arachnidian Hymn. Chapter 3, Feed the Lake. Chapter 4, Beware the Mimics. Chapter 5, In Ice. Chapter 6, A Botched Heist of the Leo Lazorith Midsummer Residence. So uh, different chapters in, in this album, or each song is a different chapter other than the very first song, which must be some kind of intro. Uh, this song was produced by... Um, Yep, Nico North, uh, which he did a whole album earlier this year with Nico North. Uh, some great stuff. They do some good collaborations. Uh, the first song on here of other of the other lands was by Eric Godlow, um, who I also like his production work uh, in general and with Sewer Person in specific. But let's check this out. This is uh, Chapter Two, an Arachnidian hymn, uh, produced by Nico North. Like I said, this is listed as what rock rock rap alternative rock acoustic emo rap independent alternative and singer songwriter uh oh, we have a sewer person video posted but i'm just going to go off of uh soundcloud here so let's check this out chapter two an arachnidian i can't talk an arachnidian hymn from sewer person and nico north uh, let's make sure I've got the right track here. Is this going to open up the track? Good, good, good. Um, hey, we've got lyrics here too. So if you want to check it out, it's on SoundCloud. It's apparently also on YouTube. Uh, if you want to send me something to react to, Cash App, PayPal, and Patreon information is down in the description of this video. Those are the ways to get it to me. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please sh uh, watch another video on the channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Also, to update people, I, we did actually get our lost cat back. Um, and in fact, it's kind of a funny story. Stick around until the end and I'll, I'll talk about the cat saga. It's crazy. I mean, it's completely normal. It happens in life, but it's crazy. Let's go. Three minutes and four seconds. Chapter two, an arachnidian hymn from Sewer Person and Nico North. Let's do it. It is clear to me pain has been granted rule over these lands. It seems even on the quietest of nights here, the, the woeful shriek of tragedy consumes all. Okay, so I, I gotta say, right off the bat, it's This is labeled Chapter 2. I, I talked about this a little bit. Like, each of the songs is Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4. And it seems like... And I haven't read up on this album. I don't know anything about it. I don't even think there's any annotation on this song in particular. Nope, there's not. But it seems like he's building up kind of a fictional world that this music all takes place in. And here he's telling us, it's clear to me... Pain has been granted rule over these lands. It seems even on the quietest of nights here, the woeful shriek of tragedy consumes all. Um, I don't know if that's a sample from something. I don't know if that's original to this. But that's that's the idea I get, is that he's building like a, like a story. He's building a fictional setting for all the music that happens here. Maybe this is like a concept album for him. Uh, a world in which 
everything is pain and sadness. Huh, sounds like the real world, now that I say it that way. Let's keep going. sounds good this is super interesting this sounds very fictional to me i mean he's writing this song from the perspective of a spider probably not a normal spider because he says down here their long guns had blown a hole in my chest i don't like you don't shoot a spider with a long gun unless it's gigantic right so is this some sort of crazy fantasy world in which Shelob from Lord of the Rings would be like one of the smaller spiders? Is this, I don't, uh, this is really interesting. Really, really interesting. The first time I've seen, the first time you've seen me hunger for blood, I can't lie, I feared I'd lose you to man. Not to a man, to man. But you stayed inside the coal of my clutch. That sounds, that's a really good line. And showed me the heart is more than a pump. Ah, I'm really liking this. Nothing more than reason to separate me from flesh. You say, I burn that it's my You stayed inside. So, uh, I backed up just so I can hear that transition again the hourglass that paints my back. I the cold on my clutch. You show me the heart is more than a pump. Okay, so uh, the hourglass that paints my back. So this is a, a Black Widow is uh, is who he is telling us this spider is or what it is. Interesting. You say, I burn that into my head from then on. I thought of you as all of God's little transition there changes up his style his flow the, the like the, how the vocals are being used and this is different for him this is interesting Watch the final 
interesting. What exactly is he talking about? Hard to say. I love that he uses the word cantrip. Like, I, that's because I'm a D&D &D player. In fact, I just got the new D&D &D book today, finally. Um, so he's supposed to be the spider, and he and his significant other are in kind of a toxic relationship, but it's one that works for them. They, they need each other. They are poisonous to each other. One feeds off the other one and wraps around that one to keep her safe. But he also feeds off of her while keeping her safe from everything else. That seems about right. Just stay still and let the web hold the weight. So don't, don't, don't struggle, don't move, don't try to get away, just be here. It's just love beneath a cantrip of hate. A cantrip is like a quick snap spell right like a like an actual magical thing at least let's let's find out what they define cantrip as um, i think of it as a magic spell of any kind or one which reads the same forwards backwards so yeah so a, a quick little spell um so it's love beneath this this just I, what i take his meaning f in this regard is like a a quick like st snapping at someone like a little like ah like it's not significant it's not long lasting it's not like a sustained hatred it's just like this momentary burst of of annoyance of hatred or something but it's love underneath it's all love it's like it's like how you get annoyed with your siblings right like you love your siblings and then you're like ah fuck off leave me alone <laughs> um my eight legs will wipe the tears from your face. I don't understand the spider thing in terms of this character being spidery. Uh, but like the, the, the me, I will take care of you. I will wipe the tears away from you. The silk spun is meant to savor the taste. So I wrap you up so that I can, I can have you to myself and I can just enjoy the feel of you, the taste of you, the the fact that you're here with me i want i want to be i want you to be here their long guns had blown a hole in my chest i that i'm not getting their long guns maybe that's like somebody else's um like their negativity the things they say about you like ripped you apart that sort of thing maybe that's what it's supposed to be i'm wrapped up to stop the leaking of breath so i'm wrapped up in this webbing too i'm wrapped up with you so we're together again i'm guessing and then my my teeth punch through the funnel webs of the nest so he's still able to like get his teeth out to defend to protect i i don't know to kill whoever comes near to to make it clear like you come near me and i'll fuck you up kind of thing maybe that's what it's supposed to be and then the last line, it's just love, so can't the world let us rest? Like, we just want to be the two of us alone. Leave us alone. That's it. We just let us be. Uh, it's really, once again, an interesting shift or a continuation of the, of the shift in his music or some of his music. Um, I forget... In the last album, he had s uh, some track that was about, like, Imp's Blood, something like that. Um, I, wa I want to say it had Imp in the title, right? Yeah, Imp Blood um, had this a similar sort of thing going on with it. Uh, kind of fantasy-ish. Um, really, really interesting. And more storytelling as opposed to... Um, about his as opposed to 
biographical or autobiographical. It's more a story that relates to what his existence is life is, is like. And I think that's a really interesting way to go about things. It turns it turns his his songs into more of a um, almost allegorical as opposed to biographical. And that's kind of cool. That's uh, that's really cool. Um, really like this. I want to check out the whole album. Hopefully, I will get a chance to do it. But I wanted to do something because I love Sewer Person. And I like to check in with him whenever he's got something that comes out uh this whole um album by the way is only 32 minutes long what did i see uh in other lands oh it's i gotta make this bigger to see it no that's not doing it the other lands sorry come on let's get to album it showed me this a minute ago you son of a bitch is it because I oh, 11 tracks 28 minutes and 37 seconds so this will probably get done as a reaction as soon as I can find the time to do it and I, I know I still have other things to do but um, I, I thought that was great really looking forward to this really looking forward to it uh, I hope you are too I hope you go check out the album uh, it's on SoundCloud the other lands by sewer person go check it out pop squat Ahead, checking out, checking out, checking out. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, go watch another video on the channel if you would, please. And uh, if you want me to react to something, Cash App, PayPal, and Patreon information is down in the description of this video. Now, the cat. So we have a black cat, and it escaped on the 25th of September, 2024. And he is the sweetest little boy. He is very stupid. And, um,. Stupid people tend to be sweet, uh, unless they're Trump supporters. And uh, he escaped. Uh, we have no idea how he got out of the house. I think he actually fell off or jumped off the, the patio, this balcony that we have. We're on the third floor. And um, put up signs all over our apartment complex that we printed out. Just little lost cat answers to Sajik. Uh, that's his name. And uh, some other information. And um, we start. We got a couple of calls from people like, "Oh, I saw this black cat. Um, maybe it's your cat. It, it, we were. It's over by this building. Hey, I saw a black cat outside of my apartment. Somebody else like, "Oh yeah, some cat came up to my back window and just meowed and meowed and meowed and meowed. And he meows. He meows like a crazy cat. Like I said earlier. I don't know if it was this video or another one." Um, he, he's a meower and um we're like it's it's gotta be him like he's gotta be just in this area so we got a trap we put some food in the trap we put it outside and um my wife saw a black cat running around tried to get it the cat was freaked out too freaked out we were like we think it's sajik we're not sure cat got away we couldn't catch it put the trap out we got back yesterday uh, so this would be the 28th and uh, got back from running some errands up in Bellevue and we had a cat in our trap and we were like that's not Sajik like we're it's a black cat so it's does not look particularly distinctive right um, we're like yeah that's not Sajik so we, we took it to Petco they were able to scan the chip Every, all the vets were closed um, they scan the chip they emailed the person or persons who were who owned the cat uh, hopefully the cat has been returned to them it was a little kitty called beans b-e-a-n-s and she was very cute and uh, she escaped in the store when we got in there um, and so everybody had to <laughs> follow her around and pull her out from underneath the shelves uh, it was fun and um, so we got rid of got rid of that cat gave it to them they were gonna get in touch with the owners and uh, put the trap back out last night put some food in there for him, hoping he's still in the area because we were like we have no idea if Sasha is even still in the area and then we got up this morning my wife went downstairs like pretty much first thing and comes back upstairs she's got the cat in the trap it's Sajik. he's meowing 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 so we got our cat back 
And the only thing I can figure is that other black cat beings running around freaked Sajik out so much that he was like, I'm just, I'm not going anywhere. And then when he was alone, he'd walk up to somebody's back door and just meow. <laughs> and then run away because, of course, he doesn't know them. Um, cannot believe uh, we managed to catch him. Like, in two days. Uh, after we got that trap. It's just absolutely crazy. So anyway, that's the saga of Little Sajik and his adventures outside. Um, I'm going to take off and get these posted and go to bed. So I hope you guys have a good, good day and uh, come back tomorrow to listen to some music. Pop Spot. Check it out. I did that already, I know. Bye-bye.